you're watching Aloha Waters Tiny TV on Spectrum OC16. This is the popular Cam 4 Road in Kalihi because we are at Dole Middle School for the Lex Brodies. Thank you very much, Award. And this is about our 120th winner. It's our first time here, so we're super excited. Um, the Thank You Very Much Award is something we started um, to honor our company founder who always used to say thank you very much and basically in his commercials and basically that was his message of when it's appropriate to say thank you which is all the time you know anytime you go to a restaurant you're interacting with your family your teachers your coaches everywhere everywhere you go it's such a simple thing to do but the power of sharing appreciation to everyone you come in contact with just brightens their day but it also brightens your day as well so today you're going to see an example of that because one of you, actually a whole bunch of you guys wrote beautiful letters. It was really hard to pick a winner, um, but we did. We were able to narrow it down. So we're going to call up our winner. Um, they're going to get a hundred dollar. The person that's written to gets this beautiful trophy. They get a two night stay at Princess Kailani in Waikiki. The class is getting a grant of for five hundred dollars. So the teacher and the students can decide what they're going to do with that. The student that wrote the letter gets a $100 Alamona gift card. Uh, but, the, but the true value of this exercise is you're going to see how simply writing a letter to someone, how that just strengthens the bond and just how much, you know, just the appreciation that is shared back and forth. So we're going to call up our winner. Um, I hope I get the last name correctly. But our winner is Giselle Samuelu. Giselle, will you please come up? I wrote my letter for my seventh grade homeroom teacher, Mr. Pasadero. <laughs> so my letter says, Dear Mr. Pasadero, I appreciate you. I appreciate you because you do so much for me and the rest of the students. And you sacrifice your gas to come all the way from Wai'anae just to come and teach us and, the, and teach the different things. Okay, now I'm going to say this again, but you may be strict, but like I said, we learn from it. And like people say, when it's time to play, it's time to play. When it's time to work, it's time to work. And you're that kind of teacher that wants the best from her students and wants their best effort. You also try your best to bring our grades up and your best is enough. You're coming from the west side to come to Kalihi to teach us. When I come to school, I'm excited to see you because I can talk to you and you just listen. You don't ignore, but you listen and talk to me. Uh, thank you very much. Miss uh, Trina, you want to hold the mic for me, Scott, sure. up to her? And, uh, what, how do you feel getting this on, on TV, on OC16, Spectrum OC16? Uh, I'm very, very uh, appreciative. I come to work really for the students. She mentioned all the way from what and I. He drive yeah. a, while, a while. It's a very far commute, but the commute is worth it because I get to change lives every day. And being a teacher is a blessing. <laughs> to be able to inspire you all to make better lives and to remind you that your circumstances does not dictate your future. What that means is it doesn't matter where you come from or your circumstances of home or the difficulties that we face every day, that does not um, choose your future. Your future is chosen by your own choices. Um, as a product of Why and I, I didn't let that dictate where my life would be or what I would become. So. I wish you all the best as you wrap up the year and may you make good choices for your future. Thank you. 